My name is Alo, A-L-O, and I'm an artist. Um, I consider myself an artist in general rather than a street or urban artist, but I'm Italian and I've been, uh, I'm London-based, I've been in London for 10 years. I describe my style uh, as, a, um, as a mix of uh, what is considered generally fine art, so painting based on brushes, but um, during these years um, there's been an evolution in mixing that uh, with uh, a marker technique that allowed me to create a style I think uh, very detailed and my style is uh, based on uh, details and lines and color contrast and um, I, I focus mostly on the impact of the artwork and I usually paint mostly characters, portraits. I have many inspirations, uh, mostly uh, the biggest, strongest inspiration is from the fine art, so all the masters we know in painting and movements like mostly expressionist movements. So from a technique and uh, idea point of view of art, that's my base, but uh, I've been, uh, I've been uh, influenced a lot by the graffiti and street art movement, mostly for the approach of art. So the idea of painting outside your studio for free on walls and to, to make um, a city like um, a kind of uh, open air gallery. So that's what, that's what caught me mostly about street art and graffiti. I realized I was an artist or I wanted to be an artist when I was very young, but I started mostly with music uh, and I, I wasn't a lot into painting. Then uh, uh, I realized that painting was the, the kind of art I was mostly involved in uh, in my 20s yeah so and uh, yeah so I started painting with oil very traditionally and then step by step I uh, my painting has evolved so it's I mean I, I've mixed a lot of influences as I said before like from fine art to street culture and uh, so it's been like an evolution step by step I actually started to paint on the street in London, so 10 years ago. Even if I used to paint, I, I, I had been painting since a long time. And that's why, uh, that was the reason why I moved to London, because um, I knew the scene and I was very attracted by it. And I knew, I realized that what generally is considered fine art painting, studio painting, uh, wasn't enough for the time we're living in. So uh, I realized that it was necessary for an artist to, to find different means in order to paint uh, properly. And so that's why I was attracted by the approach the street artists had. And so, and that's about, uh, you know, overcome any gallery, any anything involved officially in the art and just to to be free to paint on on any walls in the street and uh, to to make any people you know involved in the art like uh, in the urban context my style has developed in many ways and uh, there's something in common always in common uh, if you compare my old paintings to my latest production um, and it's the characters it's always been based on portraits and portraying people and characters um, but technically uh, as evolved um, both for the use of colors because I improved the use of color just experimenting over and over and uh, also from a technique 
point of view, technically, I think uh, the use of lines that is one of the most, the main signature of my artwork has developed in many ways in the detail I use lines in overlaying lines over lines. So if you, I mean, if you check my, my old paintings, what, what I produced like mm, seven, eight years ago, you can see there was the same approach, but it was a bit rougher. So, and I, I've been looking for an, an aesthetic a bit more pure time over time. And uh, uh, I think I could, I, could, uh, I could realize then what I had in mind because I had in mind something very precise and technically I could mm, gain it like as I had in my mind uh, in a few years, yeah. I have a, a weird relationship weird with my artworks because it's like hate and love. So they take a lot of energies. Uh, I have fun in doing that, but at the same time, it's, um, it's something that you're taking from deeper inside yourself. So um, I, I have, yeah, my relationship with my artwork is, is a bit in contrast because anytime I finish a painting, uh, I like it and um, I'm sure of what I've done, but like after a, after a few months, for me, something old already. So uh, I'm looking always for, for some different color contrast or characters to paint. So yeah, it's a kind of hate and love, yeah, I would say. <laughs> My current show at Sachi Gallery, I mean, it's been a trouble process because it's been postponed twice because of COVID and restrictions. But this, I can say that there's been a good thing as well for the exhibition because it allowed me to have more time to work on bigger canvases and uh, because this time uh, the gallery has chosen a much bigger room for the exhibition, that was a good reason to paint on a bigger scale and to use the space they gave me in the best way I could. And um, yeah, the show itself, the title is, is titled Liminal and it's, um, it's a is a kind of uh, is an exhibition about portraits, but they cover uh, my they cover probably three years of work almost, and um, there there are about seventy artworks shown and, uh, from 2018 to 2021, and those artworks are artworks I I didn't sell on purpose to keep them to, in order to realize the exhibition I had in mind. I'd like people to, to feel like the paintings are like mirrors, because actually I think I paint characters, that they reflect me, but I've seen in time that people recognize their feelings into those canvases. So, uh, I I'd like them I'd like people to to feel something like of themselves inside those canvases. That's that could be a good result.